What's up guys? Thank you for checking out this video. This video is a slightly different format than what you might be used to. This is going to be more of a discussion and less of a theory. Although there is a little theory in here at the end of the video, so stick around if you really if you really have an itch for theory right now. I want to throw some ideas and predictions that's been bouncing around in my head for a little bit at you guys regarding Dragon Ball Super. And if you guys enjoyed this format, I can make more videos like this in between my theory videos. So I'll really be paying close attention to the amount of likes and dislikes on this video to see if it's something that you guys are interested in. So make sure if you enjoy this video, Hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know you enjoyed it. That way, I will definitely make more like this one. All that said, let's hop into this discussion. All right, the idea that I wanted to talk about today was that I suspect that we are soon going to see the introduction of devils in Dragon Ball Super. The reason why I think this is because I feel like since the beginning of the series, we've been introduced to the good guys who have universal and multi-universal powers. People with titles like gods and angels and grand priests. And who do you think of when you think of natural opposition for gods or angels? It's usually a devil. But I think it goes a little bit further than that. Because not only do you have gods and, and angels and grand priests and such, you also have a very strict hierarchy. You have a king, you have an omni king, a king of all gods. And one of the main reasons why kingdoms exist is for protection. We're stronger together than we are separated. So let's unite, let's form a kingdom so we can first defend ourselves and then prosper. You might be asking yourself, what does the omni king need protection from? What do the gods need protection from? Why does the Omni King have bodyguards? What could the universes possibly need protection from? Isn't the Omni King all powerful? Can't he snap his fingers and, and destroy anything? And that's where I think the devils step in. I think the devils have the power to negate the power of the God. And the reason why I'm saying devils with an S is because it's not just one guy. It's not just one strong guy. It's an organization. It's like an opposition. A group of villains that are just as strong as the gods, if not stronger in certain cases, that have the ability to negate the power of the gods when it applies. So Zeno just can't delete them if he feels like it. They may exist outside of the universes, outside of Zeno's control. But I suspect that this is the reason why the Omni King exists, why this kingdom exists. This is a safe haven away from those guys. And when I think about it, I feel like at some point, Goku is going to get to the level of gods or possibly surpass them. And if that happens, who is he going to fight? I suspect that he is going to help fight the guys that the gods have been fighting for a millennia, for eternity, he is going to be going up against the devils in an attempt to save not just the universe, but the multiverse. That was my discussion, but if I had to tie a theory onto this, and obviously this theory is super speculative, this is all speculation, I suspect that this is why the Omni King is only a child. I suspect that the previous Omni King was lost fighting these devils and creating a safe haven for the universes that exist currently. And now his right hand man, the Grand Priest, has been put in charge of, of cultivating and helping grow the new Omni King who can be a reincarnation or the son of the previous Omni King. This can also be the reason why the Grand Priest is considered the strongest fighter in all the universes. We said this himself. I feel like this is not a title that you just give to someone. This is a title that had to have been battle tested and proven. Let me know what you guys think of this discussion. I know this is a lot of crazy out there stuff. It's just been bouncing around in my head and I wanted to put this video out and hear what you guys think. Let me know if it's fun. If you guys agree, disagree, that's fine. You want to like, dislike, that's fine. Um, I just think it's pretty cool to think about. Before I go, I want to give a big, big thank you to all the new subscribers. Last video I was over 1200, this video I'm over 1300. You guys are just showing me so much love. I don't know why, but I really, really appreciate it. I'm going to be back to my normal theories next week, so expect a theory video from me next week at some point. It's going to be earlier in the week, Sunday or Monday. Thank you guys in advance for the like on this video and your comments below that inspire discussion, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.